Hi Future Scientists, I'm Adam. In this video, we will discuss how to balance chemical equations and also look at some tips that we can use to make balancing equations fun and easy. Why do we have to balance chemical equations? In a chemical reaction, mass is neither created nor destroyed, it is conserved. This is called the law of conservation of mass. Let us look at this chemical reaction. Methane burns in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. The mass of the reactants here equals 12 plus 4 AMU for the methane plus 32 AMU for the O2. So that is a total of 48 AMU. Mass of the products, which is 12 plus 32 AMU for the carbon dioxide and 2 plus 16 AMU for the water, which equals 62 AMU. According to the law of conservation of mass, the mass of the reactants should be equal to the mass of the products. Here, the masses are not equal, which means this is an unbalanced equation. How do we balance chemical equations? Tip 1. Write the skeleton equation. Skeleton equation is the unbalanced equation for the chemical reaction with the correct chemical formulas for the reactants and products. So we write CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. Tip 2. Count the atoms. Count the atoms of each element on both the reactant and product sides of the equation. There's one carbon on both sides, four hydrogen and two hydrogen, two oxygen and three oxygen. So tip three, identify the unbalanced atoms. Carbon is balanced, but hydrogen and oxygen are unbalanced since they are different numbers on either side of the equation. Tip four, balance one element at a time. Focus on the elements that appear only once on each side of the equation, if possible, at first. Since carbon is already balanced, let us balance hydrogen. Tip five, coefficients and not subscripts. To balance, do not add, delete or change any subscript since this changes the identity of the substance. Instead, we put coefficients in front of chemical formulas to adjust the number of atoms. Coefficients must be whole numbers and they should be the smallest possible integers. So we put a coefficient of two in front of the H2O molecule, which makes the number of hydrogen atoms four on the right hand side as well. And it also makes the number of oxygen atoms to four on the right hand side. So tip six, check and repeat. So since we have four oxygen on the right and only two on the left, we put a coefficient of two in front of the O2. So now all of the atoms are balanced and the equation is balanced. Tip seven, check polyatomic ions. If polyatomic ions are present in the equation, count them as single units. H2SO4 plus BOH3 gives B2SO4-3 plus H2O. So on the reactant side, we have one SO4, one boron, five hydrogen, and three oxygen. On the product side, three SO4, two boron, two hydrogen, and one oxygen. Since the polyatomic ions SO4 are intact, we count them as a unit. So put a coefficient of three in front of H2SO4. So now on the reactant side, we have three SO4, boron is still one, the number of hydrogen atoms became nine and the number of oxygen atoms is still three. And there is no other change on the product side. So now we will balance boron since it appears only once on either side. So put a coefficient of two in front of boron on the left hand side. So SO4 is already balanced. Boron is two on both sides. And now we have 12 hydrogens on the left side and six oxygens on the left side. So next we will balance hydrogen. So put a coefficient of six in front of H2O. So that makes the hydrogen 12 on both sides and it also makes the oxygen six on both sides. And if you check all other atoms, everything is balanced. So now the equation is balanced. Tip eight, verify the coefficients. 
Once all atoms are balanced, write down the coefficients to make sure that they are in their lowest possible ratio. So the balanced chemical equation is 3H2SO4 plus 2BOH3 gives B2SO4 3 plus 6H2O and the coefficients are 3 comma 2 comma 1 comma 6. Instead, if you get coefficients as 6, 4, 2, 12, you have to simplify by their common divisor to get the lowest possible ratio of 3, 2, 1, 6. Tip 9 is a final check. Perform a final check to confirm that the equation is fully balanced with equal numbers of each type of atom on both sides. And tip 10, trial and error and more practice. To balance equations, sometimes we have to use a trial and error approach. And the only way we get proficient is by practicing. So let us practice balancing. Practice equations. Equation 1. Al2SO33 plus NaOH gives Na2SO3 plus AlOH3. Since aluminum appears only once on either side, let's balance that first. So let's put a coefficient of 2 uh, before the ALOH3 on the right hand side. That makes aluminum 2 on both sides. Next, we can look at the polyatomic ion OH. So the OH on the right hand side is 2 times 3, 6. So we can put a coefficient of 6 in front of the NaOH on the left side, making the OH6 on both sides. Now, the Na on the left side became 6. So we have to put a coefficient of 3 on the right hand side in front of the Na2SO3. So that makes the uh, sodium 6 on the right hand side as well. And SO3 is already 3 on the left side and it is a 3 now on the right hand side. So everything is balanced and the equation is balanced. And the coefficients are 1, 6, 3, 2. Equation 2. C3H8 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. Let us balance the carbon first, since it appears only once on either side. So put a coefficient of 3 in front of the CO2. So carbon is 3 on both sides. Now to make the hydrogen 8 on both sides, we put a coefficient of 4 in front of the H2O. Now the oxygen on the right hand side is 3 times 2, 6 plus 4, which is 10. So we put a coefficient of 5 in front of the O2 on the left hand side. Now the equation is balanced and the coefficients are 1, 5, 3, 4. Equation 3. PCL5 plus H2O gives POCl3 plus HCl. The phosphorus on both sides is already balanced, so we can go ahead and balance a hydrogen. So let us make the hydrogen 2 on both sides by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of the HCl. And now we can balance the oxygen, and actually oxygen is already balanced. So the equation is balanced and the coefficients are 1, 1, 1, 2. Equation 4. Al2O3 plus C plus N2 gives Aln plus CO. The carbon is already balanced at the moment. And so we can go ahead and balance the aluminum by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of the Aln. So now both aluminum and carbon are balanced for now. Now, this makes nitrogen also two on both sides, so nitrogen is balanced. Now, we have three oxygen on the left, only one on the right. So, let's put a coefficient of three in front of the CO. So, oxygen is three on both sides now, but that makes a carbon on the right side three, and there's only one on the left. So, let's put a coefficient of three in front of the carbon on the left side. So, now all of the atoms are balanced, and the equation is balanced, and the coefficients are 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. Equation 5. CrOH3 plus H2SO4 gives Cr2SO43 plus H2O. So we can balance chromium first by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of CrOH3. So chromium is 2 on both sides. Next, we can balance the polyatomic ion SO4 by putting a coefficient of 3 in front of H2SO4. So now SO4 is 3 on both sides. The hydrogen on the left side is 2 times 3, 6 plus 3 times 2, 6. So that there's a total of 12 hydrogen on the left hand side. So let's put a coefficient of 6 on the right hand side in front of H2O. 
So now oxygen is six on the right side and the oxygen is two times three, six on the left hand side. So that now the equation is balanced and the coefficients are two, three, one, six. Equation six, NH3 plus O2 gives NO2 plus H2O. The nitrogen for now is balanced. So let's balance the hydrogen by putting a coefficient in front of the NH3 on the left side and a coefficient of three on the right hand side in front of H2O. So hydrogen is six on both sides. The oxygen on the right hand side is two plus three, five, and the oxygen on the left side is only two. So let's make the oxygen on the right hand side an even number by changing the coefficient of H2O from three to a four. But that changes the hydrogen to eight. So on the left hand side for now, let's put a coefficient of three in front of the O2 since oxygens are six on both sides at the moment. And we cannot make the hydrogen on the left hand side eight. So the only thing we can do is make the hydrogen on the left hand side 12 by putting a coefficient of four in front of the NH3. So we can change the four in front of the H2O to a six in front of the H2O. So that means hydrogen becomes 12 on both sides and the nitrogen now is four on the left side. So let's put a coefficient of four in front of the NO2 so that the nitrogen is four on both sides. Now on the right hand side, we have a total of four times two, eight plus six, 14 oxygen atoms. So we can change the three in front of the O2 to a seven to make the oxygen on the left hand side 14 as well. So the coefficients of this balanced chemical equation are four, seven, four, six. Equation seven, Ca3PO42 plus SiO2 gives P4O10 plus CaSiO3. Let us first balance the phosphorus because once you put a coefficient in front of the Ca3PO42, it will affect the numbers of calcium atoms on the left hand side. So let's put a coefficient of two in front of Ca3PO42 so that we have four phosphorus on both sides. Now the calcium on the left side is two times three, six. So let's put a coefficient of six in front of the CaSiO3 on the right side. So calcium is six on both sides. Now the silicon is six on the right side. So let's put a six in front of SiO2 on the left side as well. Now let's count the oxygen atoms. We have two times four times two plus six times two. So that is 16 plus 12, which is 28 oxygen atoms on the left hand side. And we have 10 plus six times three, which is also 28 on the right hand side. So the coefficients for this balanced equation are two, six, one, six. Equation eight, C6H6 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. First, let's balance the carbon by putting a coefficient of six in front of the CO2. Next, we can balance the hydrogen by putting a coefficient of three in front of the H2O. The oxygens on the right hand side now are six times two, 12 plus three, 15. And we have only two oxygens on the left. So we have to make the number of oxygens on the right hand side like an even number. So let's try a four in front of the H2O, but that'll make the hydrogen eight and we cannot make the hydrogen eight on the left hand side. If we change the coefficient of H2O to five, hydrogen on the right side will be a 10 and we cannot make the hydrogen on the left side a 10 as well. So the only thing we can do is make the coefficient of H2O a six. So we have 12 hydrogens on the right hand side. So we can put a coefficient of two in front of C6H6 to make the hydrogen 12 on the left hand side as well. Now the carbon is 12 on the left so we can put a coefficient of 12 in front of the CO2 instead of the original six. Now we have a total of 12 plus two, 24 plus six, 30 oxygen atoms on the right hand side. So we put a coefficient of 15 on the left hand side in front of O2. Now everything is balanced and the coefficients are two, 15, 12, six. Equation nine, FeS2 plus O2 gives Fe2O3 plus SO2. To balance the iron, we put a coefficient of two in front of FeS2. So iron is two on both sides. Now the sulfur is four on the left side. So let's put a coefficient of four in front of the SO2. 
The oxygens on the right hand side are 3 plus 8, 11, and we cannot make the oxygen 11 on the left hand side. So we have to make the oxygen an even number on the right hand side. So let's put a coefficient of 2 in front of the Fe2O3. But that makes the iron 4 on the right side. So let's change the coefficient of FeS2 to 4. And that changes the sulfur to 8 on the left side. So let's change the coefficient of SO2 from 4 to an 8. So now the oxygens on the right hand side are 2 times 3, 6 plus 8 times 2, 16, which is 22, which means the coefficient of oxygen on the left hand side is 11. So the coefficients for this balanced equation are 4, 11, 2, 8. Equation 10. Al4C3 plus H2O gives CH4 plus ALOH3. To balance the aluminum, we can put a coefficient of 4 in front of the ALOH3. So now we have four aluminums on both sides. Next, we can balance a carbon by putting a coefficient of 3 in front of the CH4. So we have three carbons on both sides. Let's count the hydrogens on the right side. So we have 3 times 4, 12, plus 4 times 3, 12. So there's 24 hydrogens on the right side. So let's put a coefficient of 12 in front of the H2O. So hydrogen is 24 on both sides. Now, oxygen is 12 on the left side and oxygen is 4 times 3, 12 on the right side. So the coefficients for this balanced equation are 1, 12, 3, 4. There you have it. Balanced equations accurately represent the chemical reactions because the number of atoms of each element on the reactant side equals the number of atoms on the product side, thus conserving the mass. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more science content. Happy learning. Thank you.